Taking a page out of an old Chinese medicine book that's been going around for thousands of years in regards to helping fight illnesses. In this case, what it is, is honeysuckle. Now, in the terms of the researchers, they called honeysuckle a virological penicillin, meaning what penicillin is, antibiotics to bacteria. Honeysuckle may be the exact same equivalent to viruses. Now, in the research published, Cell Research Advanced Online publication, the 7th of October 2014, entitled Honeysuckle Encoded Atypical MicroRNA 2911. Remember that number, 2911. Directly targets influenza A viruses. And this was discovered at Nanjing University when they found that plant microRNA from honeysuckle, traditional honeysuckle, directly targets influenza A viruses, otherwise an acronym known as AIV, including H1N1, H5N1, H7N9, drinking of honeysuckle soup, this is their words, not mine, this is direct excerpts from the study itself, can prevent AIV, influenza A virus infection, and reduce H5N1 induced mice death. Now, this is a pretty fascinating study, but I only got a couple of minutes and I can't go into as much detail as I like. So I will reference the study for you to check out on your own later on. Now what they did was this. They showed this with this microRNA 2911 repressed the various influenza viruses by targeting certain items like PB2 and NS1 genes that are required for influenza viral replication. And so they found out that's exactly how it does it. But they also knew too that microRNA can be absorbed. Now what they did is they took mice and they used what's called gavage feeding, meaning it was a tube into the stomach in order to administer the honeysuckle tea. But this is where it gets really interesting. Keep this in mind. They found out that this honeysuckle soup decoction, which has been used for thousands of years, did the following, at least in what they studied in regards to influenza A viruses. Plant MIR2911 is absorbed and delivered into lungs after administration of the honeysuckle decoction or synthetic MIR2911 through garbage feeding tube in the stomach. The plant MIR2911 directly binds to some types of uh, influenza virus and inhibits H1N1 virus encoded PB2 proteins, which we went through there. Plant MIR2911 rescues viruses, inoculation induced weight loss, prevented weight loss from illness and inhibits the viral replication of H1N1 inoculated mice and plant MIR2911 from honeysuckle inhibits the H5N1 and H7N9 viral replication in vitro and in vivo and rescues H5 one inoculation to reduce mortality meaning reduces the death rate. All right now this is their point which I'm, I was kind of on the fence about mentioning but it's in the study and remember studies require duplication and replication of the same results. So I don't want people getting some sort of false idea that this may be a cure or whatever it is. But however though, it was studied and is worthy of note. Furthermore, this is a quote and an excerpt directly from the study itself. Furthermore, one of the ongoing studies showed that MIR2911, derived from honeysuckle, also directly targets Ebola virus which is pandemic in West Africa is becoming a crisis of public health. Thus, MIR2911 is able to serve as the virological penicillin to directly target various viruses. Remember, we don't know how effective it is. It may be effective, but to what degree? And so it requires further studying before conjecture could be coming into uh, full play. Let's just put it that way. Now, here's the cool part about it. Right, obviously, it fights all influenza. How tough, difficult was for the researchers to actually do the study and where they get their honeysuckle? This is where it's kind of cool and kind of homey. This is what they did. The honeysuckle, HS, was bought from a Chinese herbal medicine shop. Honeysuckle decoction was prepared by boiling 10 grams of honeysuckle in 100 milliliters of water for 30 minutes, resulting in a 50 milliliter decoction. Now, here's the key. Researchers thought if you boiled it, you would destroy most of the microRNA. But something weird happened when they boiled the honeysuckle. The microRNA 2911 actually became the predominant uh, microRNA in that decoction. The microRNA, which we've talked about doing all this stuff here. To the point where after they boiled it for 30 minutes, 
and left a filthy milliliter decoction remaining of this honeysuckle soup, 70% of the microRNA in that honeysuckle soup end up being microRNA 2911. As, as found here through the Illumina sequencing analysis revealed da da da, and there's, there's graphs and data to show you exactly how and why they did it. So just keep in mind, look above the horizon, honeysuckle soup may be your next biological penicillin, and it requires further studying and research to confirm these results. But again, it's something which is new, just came out 7th October 2014. Ralph Turchiano, signing off. Thank you.